guys welcome back to the dnn medical series this is your girl nikki and today i'll be telling you about something super important well not telling you but show you it is how to register for your courses and this is very very important because if you're not registered for your courses you cannot do your examinations so this is a super important video and I'll be using my cell phone today, but the same procedure works for your iPads, your laptops, your desktops, and all your devices. So the first thing you gotta do is open your Google Chrome or your internet browser. I have Google Chrome here, so let me just do that. And the next thing I'm gonna do, ooh, I have this tab open. So the next thing you, you have to do is just open a new tab. So here I open a new tab and the next thing we're going to do is just type in UI SAS. So SAS is basically student administration systems. So this talks all about your registration and blah, blah, blah. All those things that required you to be enrolled in the UI system. So I'm just going to search for UI SAS. And look, the first thing that comes up is user login. UI Mona Student Administration Services. So I'm just going to click on the first thing there. So here at you see the UI logo to show you that it's the legit page. And here it takes me to this page, and I call this page the login page. So this is where you log in with your ID number and your password. So you're just I'm just going to type my ID number here. It's a 6200 whatever thingy that they give you on your ID. And you just type in your ID, your password, sorry. The one that MITS generated. Or the personalized one that you have. Or it's usually your date of birth in the year, month, day format. But... They'll tell you what your password is in your email when you're enrolled in the system. And I'm just going to press login next. But guess what, guys? If this does not work for you and it's saying incorrect password or thingy, just click here where we, you see online support, live online support. And it will take you to this page. You give them your full name, your email, and your question. And if your password needs to be regenerated, they'll do it for you and help you to log in. So everything is fine for me. So let me just press login. So here you're going to see this page comes up with a notification. I am aware that I am not fully registered student unless blah, blah, blah. If you have outstanding fees and so on and so forth, you're not fully registered. That's what basically this message is saying. So you'll always see this notification every time you log into SAS. So just click I agree and continue. But the next thing we're going to look for is student services. The personal information part there is just all about your addresses, your phone numbers, your email address and so on and your emergency contact but you're interested today in registering so we're going into student services because you're interested in administration registering etc so we click that and the next thing we'll see comes up is registration so our big thing today is how to register so you know we will click on registration so after you click on registration, you'll see this page come up. So you're, you have a list of things to do here. But the very first thing to do before you register is to select the term. So you need to select the term that you're registering for. So if it's September 2019, you go here and you put in semester 1. 2019 because September is semester one, January is semester two, so it's 2019, 2020 semester one. So I click that and then I'll press submit. 
So after I submit that, it is registered in the system for the semester that I want to register for. The next thing I'm going to do is to add or drop classes. So you want to add the classes that you're going to take to your system. So there we go, add or drop classes. We wait for that to load. And while that is loading, I added all my classes already. So you'll see them right there. But if you don't know what to register for or your classes you're not sure, you can check the handbook based on your degree. They'll tell you the list of courses that are required for your first semester, your second semester, and so on. So you just check the handbook for your faculty and they'll tell you which courses to register for. And here we're going to do a class search. So the next thing is a class search to search for the classes that you want to register for. So we wait on that to come up and here we go. It's taking a little while to load. Yeah. And yeah, here it is. The next thing we're going to look at is subjects. So here we see zero selected. So I'm going to press this arrow going down right here. And I'm going to look for my faculty. And let's look. We have education. They have mathematics education. You just look for the specific courses that you are supposed to register for. So most of the courses come with four letters at the front, then the number. So like C, Food, Science, Technology, you have F-O-S-T. So you'll know what to register for. French has F-R-E-N. So you'd select French if you want to do French courses, so on and so forth. Law has L-A-W. So those law courses will have those at the front, like the prefix for the registration code. And it goes on. So I'm going to go to medical sciences. And that is MDSC. So I click that. Then I press OK. Then I'm just going to do a course search. So I'm just searching all of medical sciences for the different courses. And while that is loading, look, I have a page with all the courses that they offer here in this all the courses that they offer in semester one because we selected semester one remember so these are all the courses that they offer for that period and i'm just going to look you can just select one like this let me see let me select digestive systems then you're just going to view sections. That's how you select it. And you're just going to add your courses by selecting. If it's a lab component course, you just select a lab. You select a lecture. Just like you, how you see me select this box right here. Just press it to select it. A lab, a lecture, and a tutorial. So most courses are lab lectures and tutorials in the science field the same goes for science and technology and medical sciences but if not you just select what is required based on your handbook so after i've selected that the next thing i'll do is just add it you can see here just add it to the worksheet but the thing about it i'm registered for it but so it won't come up on my system i'm already registered but when you add it to the the worksheet you'll see the crns comes here 17837 and the next thing to do is just submit changes so when you submit the changes it will register you for this course and if you have some problems or some holes on your system and you can't register for the course the next best thing to do is to request an override so an override is basically you you emailing or texting your lecturers to tell them that you want to get enrolled with this class but there's some problems on your system so the lecturer will review this and grant you the 
override if necessary and, and be registered for the course. But there are also times where we make mistakes, you know, and there's nothing wrong with making mistakes. And so you add a course that you don't want to do anymore or you added a course by mistake. You just go on this same system where all your courses are added. Here you see this box that says none and web registered. And then you just press this arrow that says none on the bottom going down there. And you just press web drop. So you see web drop comes up there. Is That means I want to drop this course. I don't want to do this course anymore. Or I did not pay for this course. Or I just added this course by a mistake. So I just web drop it and just select submit changes. And that's it. It will just remove that courses that course sorry from your system so that's basically it for registration and the next thing you do is just to get out the system just press exit and it will take you out always exit your page because you know some persons might probably go in your page and probably mess up your registration or just you know you don't want anybody in your personal page so that's it for registration, guys. And I want to thank you guys so much for listening today. It was a pleasure telling you guys about how to register for your courses at UE. So if you have any more questions, just go down to the comment sections and ask them there. And we'll answer to the best of our abilities. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.